Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Back at it. Hey, I'm doing a third recording. This will be the last one of my sitting, I think. But I don't know. I want to record ahead a few days and then maybe do some streaming in the afternoon. I've been kind of on the grind lately. So, you know, it's all good. I went and got some water first, though, before I did this one. Let's see what we have. First, I want to check the parties. I'm fine. At some point, I'm sure I will explore the more exciting and interesting parties, but shit like Mountain, I'm all right. Playing basic is fine with me for now. Uh, and I think Early Curses 1 is very good. This is four tier one curses. It's pretty free. Three pip pain. Who cares about three pip pain? This is like Ordinary Triangle. Intuitively to me, I think this is going to be a little worse because pain is obviously a, a little bit worse, but... I have so much trouble finding characters who want Ordinary Triangle. I wonder if you can Ordinary Triangle out of it, actually. That would be pretty sweet. Come to think of it. I should focus this guy. I'm kind of down to Spread Poison, actually. Mm, we should protect Lost. It's all good. Most of my feeling about hard right now, too, I've been talking about wanting to raise damage. The other thing I feel like is important to think about is how you're going to neutralize your curses. So how do you make your run feel like it has no curse, basically? Like in the last one, we had range, right? And range was doing a great job of stopping me from dying to my curses. And we just had characters who could deal with getting hit like that. So how do you deal with that in this run? That's the big question. It's uh, up to interpretation, basically. I'm sick of seeing him. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm tired of seeing him. But my brother and I, we go to war. I do not blind click medic, by the way. So what do I mean by blind clicking? Let's talk about it a little bit for a second. Last run, I said I don't blind click evoker here. Today I'm saying I don't blind click medic. The reds and the blues are very interlinked on how they play. If you have a defensive setup, you want a defensive red. Like if I have Seer, you want someone... Seer, Seer is self-sufficient, basically. He doesn't need help on mana gain, so he doesn't care if his red's good at making mana. He much rather has a red who can stall for him. Glacia doesn't care about your red making mana, so having someone who helps stall is good. Medic is good for those. Uh, if I see someone like... Uh, I don't know. Actually, maybe it's okay to take Medic here, but basically the other point of this is Medic doesn't do damage, Sinew does damage. He's not great damage, but he does damage. All huge enemies get 4 max HP, plus 30% space for enemies before becoming reinforcements. This is bad for, like, exactly the hand. I think I'll take it. Tower plus four is fine, but, like, this curse seems like it's going to make even less of an impact on my day. So, I'm fine with this. I don't die to these bees, do I? That would be silly. Someone dies to these bees, oh my god. I'll let it be initiate, because you come back at 2, Gardner comes back at 2, you come back at 3. Uh, you are dying to... Oh, you can kill this bee. There you go. That's not so bad. You just let initiate die. It's not like I'm going to lose this fight. That would be ridiculous. Guys? Guys? No, that's fine. You got it. Arrow, big shot. I'm not adding a boar. Are you crazy? Compass Pendulum. I like Pendulum a little more, I think. Not a huge Compass Enjoyer. Two less max mana or place the right side with one damage cantrip. I'm good without D4. We can take two less max mana. That is not a big deal. <laughs> what a dream. You know what? Fuck it. Roll me a cleave. Okay, my fault. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'll just kill the goblin, I think. Well, I can kill two seeds now. Three seeds, it's all good. Doesn't really matter. Hmm. Some of them are hatching. Ooh, okay. Annoying, but Sinew's here. He'll deal with it. 
he can deal with it. He missed the cleave, now he has to take care of the thorns. Uh, I should... No, 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 no. Wrong. Hey, Sinew. Oh, Sinew. You bitch. Fuck you. You piece of shit. It's fine. Oh, Seer doesn't like this curse. Oh. I haven't locked my gray yet, so I'm down to pick ninja. I haven't, you know, the combo, but how bad is it for Seer to have pain? How bad do you think it is? I don't know. Ninja's probably the fine take here. You can get Groose even. Mana gain. I'm gonna go ninja. Is this aimed to the two left sides? Hmm. I think I will take Affliction. You might think XYZ is better. I've had this curse make some fights really scary. Uh, was it, it was the Cyclops Wiz fight where I went, holy shit, am I gonna die? It's like, it. the problem with this curse is that sometimes it makes like a weird mid-game fight suddenly just kick the shit out of you. And I Affliction is like, I don't know, Sin you can hold it. Initiate can hold it, it's not a big deal. It's minus one item size, or minus one item slot, which is a little sad, but... For a long time, I'm not going to care about this curse, and I'm most afraid right now of dying. I'm oh, sorry, I want to go... You want two mana banked for initiate, and then Bramble can never kill me. Free chain, by the way. You, buddy. Oh, I can't bank two mana. Right, I have uh, minus two max mana. Of course. It's fine. Hemlock is just the same. Done. Golden Thread Clef. Hmm. I can go Clef here. It's fine. I don't really respect Golden Thread all that much. So, it's all good. Yeah, and now this will be 3 damage chain if he hits it. It's nice if it happens, but I don't care too much. Ah. Interesting. Isn't it? I just roll. It's good. That's whatever. Don't care. Uh, you're the one that's in trouble. Yeah, that'll be fine. We just want to make sure we get this slime lick killed if we can, but, you know, it's not a huge difference. Two damage? Sure. This is probably lethal even. It is. Caldera Faye. Caldera's fine. Faye got a little worse in this update, I think. Although Faye Ninja is kind of nice because you get the weaken and you can boost the double hit. They have a little synergy, but... Caldera Ninja is also nice because you just get mana. Very fine. And now we have some damage. It's taken a little while to get here, but now we have some damage output. Pocket Phylactery? Oh, sick. What if I just canceled out one of my curses? Perfect. Now, I do want to keep trouble here. I'm going to go Affliction on, I guess, Caldera, because he's already got Pain on this. Yeah, Pain doesn't stack, so it's not like that's a big deal. It changes things in my favor quite a bit to do this. You can roll. kind of want to go for the gross. It's silly. But this is uh, funny. No, it's not. It's stupid. You just don't do anything here. You have to blind leave. Although, it's a little scary. Letting three snakes go. But I have nothing I can do. I can go, what, two mana burst? I could set one to one, but that's not worth it. I would set two of them off by one, and then I would be going for Scald on the follow-up. But I don't think it's right. Yeah, we just grow. And we get two mana, two times two, and two. Yeah. Someone asked me, how do you tell when you let the blind go? 
That was the question. It was on stream not too long ago. Someone asked me that. And the answer to this question is you kind of have to recognize when, like when not letting, like, so in that position, you let him go because killing, like my turn to not let him go was not very good. I wasn't doing anything meaningful there. So you just kind of let him go because it's fine too. The only bad red is, sorry, I'm mind broken. There it is. Brain, brain broke. Mind no work. The only bad red left is, Priestess isn't even that bad. So I could random here. Gray, armor is probably the worst one. Guardian's fine, Monk is fine, Bard's whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna random here. Sweet. Hell yeah, dude. Love that for us. And now it's mostly good because I'm trying to hold out for Knight. That's our big want here. I'm looking for Knight. Buckle, you're kind of fucked, buddy. You roll a pristine floor or you just take the day off. Ah, buddy, no problem. You have a nice day. Little double grow, little hit here. It's all good. You have, he just hits, right? I think all he does is hit. I was thinking maybe he has like, uh, inflict exert, but I think it's just self exert. Sorry, I want two mana here. That's fine. Soup, dynamo. Era single use on your right two sides. Pretty worthless. Soup is uh, shields into heal shields, which is actually pretty sweet. I think soup does quite a bit. Do it's shield to heal shield, not heal to shield heal. Heal to heal shield shield heal heal shield. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. The kings of snowballing your death. Fucking double shade. All these guys do is kill you. That's all they're good at. But man, are they good at it. It's okay, he'll be alright. It's just good to uh, drop them down so that maybe we can kill them soon. I think I have to- the bottom one will live another turn, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have a way to make the damage number. But I can kill you. Do I have? You're actually taking three. Yeah. Look at the soup value, by the way. This item just went crazy for me. That shit was nice. We can go Scald 2-2, two, two, heal shield, heal use. No, I will not be doing that. Ah, man. Let me check the graves. What are my odds? Oh, they're bad. Okay, this is Bard versus Cleric. My mouse turned off. Hold on. There it is. Uh, cleric, Knight, Pilgrim. So, Pilgrim's not good. Knight is good. Warden is not good. Uh, you just settle here, I think. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. Uh, I want Cleric, but I also kind of like Bard. Bard synergizes with Ninja, but... You don't need to get lost in the sauce here. It's very easy to do. Cleric is fine. Cleric is better than fine. We're clearly playing towards mana here with Caldera Herbalist at this point. Uh, Ninja Sinew is a joke, but it's a joke that you have to tell sometimes to get out of the early game. You don't have to be happy with it, right? I often feel like you get a little lost. Not you specifically, but some people who discuss this game they get a little lost thinking about getting perfect. You don't you don't always get perfect in this game. All good. Sometimes you get ninja sinew, and you take ninja sinew because they do damage at the start of the run, and that's all you need. I am not down for this. Shining bow crystallize. Ah, what do you know? Uh, crystallize, the problem is that these have to go together, so you can't really stasis it, but you could stasis I think you can stasis this pain away. Shining Bow's kind of cool, too. I want to fuck around with Stasis, though. I bet it does some cool things. Oh, no, you can't Stasis the pain away. Too bad. Can you Stasis this pain? Okay, so you can't Stasis Curse pain, but you can Stasis Item pain. 
Good to know. Of note that you would be able to just... You would be able to look cruel multiple times, but he's going to die, so I'm okay. So in this case, then, the stasis goes on Cleric so that we don't lose single use. These manas are now perfect. And that's fine with me. You could also stasis Sinew here, actually. That's maybe a little better. You can stasis around... Yeah, I think I will do that, now that I think about it. You can stasis, and then he can't exert. That's the tech. Undamaged, single-use, stasis. Hey! It's not supposed to be allowed to change! Oh well. Doesn't actually matter. He's, the one damage is wasted anyway. I think we kill this Quartz. Ah, you know what? Kill this zombie. And this Quartz. Slightly better. It's not worth holding the one mana, so we can just give the extra two damage there. I think it's fine. No dodging. It's fine if I take this turn off. We don't have to care. I have lethal. Cool. That's that's better. Brawler Prophet. Oh, Brawler hates this curse. That's fine. I didn't really care to play Brawler here anyway. We can go Prophet. Prophet is just as fine. Um, yeah, the stasis goes here. And now I'm pretty sure he can't exert. Pretty sure, because he just can't exert. Because he can't have a side change to the exert side. We'll see, though. Not 100% on that. I'm like... I would say I'm like 80% sure that it works like this. Oh, this can't chain up also. Of note. That can't change. Let's see. Correct. Good. I do know things. That's nice. Good to know I still know. Fine. Uh, you could soothe this fight, but unless you have a curse that forces you to play slow, which is not a slow play fight, you can just do whatever the fuck you want. He can't do shit to you. What's he gonna do to me? Make bones? I don't care. Fuck off, idiot. Stop petrifying me, it's not doing anything. You can't even petrify this guy. So Stasis is immediately looking a lot better than I originally had anticipated. I've been like a... kind of like an opponent of Stasis. I just don't love it usually. But like, man, it has already done a ton for me. Crescent Shield, Silver Pendant. Silver Pendant is better if I if I didn't already pass on Brawler. Because Silver Pendant is good for giving you steel. I don't have a way to get steel here, so I take Crescent Shield. Crescent Shield does two things. It lets me play Prophet's rescue side better, and oh, you can do this even. Heal Shield Rescue. That's cool. Uh, but most importantly, this gives me a way to play Roulette, who I gotta tell you, I've only seen eight times, which may seem like a lot. Two of eight is a pretty bad pick rate. I've played like, I'm closing in on like 80 or 90 runs. I do not see this character. I've seen Dabbler 12 times, and it took me like 20 hours to see Dabbler. Anyway. Just saying. I miss my favorite character. This is fine. We're gonna take the double rescue here. It's fine with me. And then you're gonna go... You'll never rescue here. Just ping the slate is fine. I want to kill the chomp, though. Oh, it's 11 damage. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that guy. Maybe it's wrong. I don't know. It seems like it'll be fine. Can I keep one mana? Sure. I doubt anyone dies for that. And just getting him off the board while I'm full health is super nice. Feels like this is gonna just work out to be roughly lethal. Sure does. Assassin Paladin. So Paladin doesn't love this curse. Doesn't hate it either. I'm happy to just click on Assassin here. Although Paladin is nice because he brings cleanse. I want to hold out for the better version of Paladin here, which I think is Stalwart. I think Assassin is fine because it gives you a nice poison scaling game plan to walk through the late game. Also, the big reason to pick Assassin here is because Ninja falls off super hard. 
That character is not far off of being completely worthless, and I am happy to be rid of them before they become completely worthless. That's your big, big feeling here. You should look for an assassination, I think. Uh, good, you got one. Gray Red are getting descended. That dies, this gets bursted. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be silly. Don't be so silly. We just pop the intangible. Again, if you're fighting ghosts, you break intangibles. It's the name of the game. If there's a ghost on your screen, your goal is to get him to not have intangibility very quickly. Perfect roll sinew. Love that. Um. Hmm. Oh, you see the tech here? It's this. I got it. All good. I had to figure out how to get them both injured. It was weird because I'm wasting the poison damage, but it doesn't matter. Ornate Hill. Self shield to all damage sides. Very solid. Probably I take that. I think wine's okay. We can cancel it out with profit very easily, but I don't know. It's like, it's weird because against some of the bosses, this is pretty nice, and against some of the bosses, this is completely worthless. Like, I don't know. I think we're always going to make it to the bosses here, so I don't need to care about this. Although it is super good at fighting Basalt, because it does put poison on all monsters, like even spawned monsters. So when Basalt makes a slate, it comes in and takes one. I'm going to lean towards Ornate Hilt here, but I think it's pretty close. Really? Ah, I see. You have to go Stasis second. Sorry, I don't know why that was hard. I was just doing it. And... Assassin can hit 12s now at the end of the run, which is good. I am talking like it's a foregone conclusion that we get to the bosses, but I think it is pretty likely that we're going to make it to the final boss, which is why I'm starting to shift my picks towards that. This team is pretty, pretty reliable here. But I shouldn't be overconfident, basically. I should give respect where respect is due. Even this fight is kind of scary. Without stasis, I would be actually very afraid. I'm only really feeling okay here because I have stasis sinew. This man consistently putting out fours, like, every turn is huge. It's so, so good. Whatever you hit with this cruel is going to die anyway. This is seven. So it should be first kill here. Uh, four, one, one. We go... Wait, four... No, no, we kill a wolf. Or one burst is fine. Which one do you burst, actually? I'm bursting... Where? I'm bursting... Yeah, yeah. It's fine. That's alright. We want to spread our damage so that the renew can really give value here. Spread our damage taken, that is. And we're pretty much at escape here. I highly doubt anyone's dying from this spot. What? Oh, this is a bug, actually. So th if you have stasis and you're exerted, the game auto locks blanks. I guess it's not a bug, it's just like how it works. So if you have blank stasis and you're exerted, it'll lock it and then you have to manually unlock it because you're allowed to roll it and there's other sides. But the game thinks it's exerted, so it'll try to uh, re- it'll try to auto lock it for you. I haven't seen that in a long time because I haven't played stasis exert. Because this is, this was a tier 7 before. As a tier 5, I think this item is actually pretty good. Tier 7, though? Oh, cool. Two off. Uh, maybe I go like this. That seems fine. We could... Hmm. I don't really like it that much, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go this way. We're going to set the top alpha to be killed next turn, and I'm just going to get a second stack of Renew going. Because most wolf damage is spread, and they're going to lose super hard if I just set up a bunch of healing. I also have high base HP here, and I'm pretty much full health on everyone. Ooh, look out, Cleric. 
Alpha dies. Oh, I'm uh, one short here. Let's see. It's all good. We'll go middle wolf. It doesn't matter. It's just a long fight, you know? Triple alpha and we play... This is a fairly defensive team. We play slow and steady through these fights, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm in no rush, are you? I don't think so. It's just funny, because at no point did this fight look close, but it's taking a long time to get to the end. It's, it's just strange. It's a strange fight, because they have so much health, don't they? Get out of here. Troll King, I'm telling you. This is an absolutely not. Oh, Weaver hates this curse. Interesting. Um, I don't know. I still think Weaver's good enough, to be honest. I take him. It's a little unfortunate to put Pocket Phylactery on this, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I could maybe go like I could be a f I could be convinced to go like Affliction here maybe, or yeah, like this isn't terrible. Hmm. I'll do it. This fight's a little awkward because we have to deal with this slate, which is a real pain. And Troll King can definitely match me here. Kind of why I held this. 2-4 puts me at... 3 plus 4 is 7. You're at 13. I'm 3 damage away from killing Troll King. If I lock this and hit mana, I think Troll King dies. Let's see if I'm right. Exactly. Pretty cool, huh? And that feels sick when I actually pull that math and I'm correct. That feels really good. Uh, we can go... It is like this, yeah. Or... Yeah, it doesn't matter. That feels so good to hit like that. Oh my god. To be right there. Ooh. Sheesh. Uh, back again, getting offered this piece of shit and bullseye. Uh, two random tier fours, though, is harder to click on. Bullseye, I, I need to think about the future real quick. Give me a moment. You like bullseye? I mean, curator's the nuts here. This is the guy. Wanderer, ooh, he hates this curse, though. Barb is pretty fine. You're bad with it. Prophet can take bullseye, too, if I need. So we can do this then and then soup goes where maybe nowhere for now i don't have to shackle myself to it it's fine profit can play bullseye and have nice outcomes with it as well um yeah sure sure, sure. this kills a zombie what do you have nice i'll take it Kill zombies. Fun fact, by the way, Stasis also stops Petrify from Basilisks. Very nice. I think he also can't be weakened. Man, this thing is crazy. This thing is actually nuts. I had no idea it was this good. Like, I knew it was pretty good. I didn't know it was this good. Uh, this is Barb, for sure. Goodbye, Sinew. It's been fun. I will miss him, but... Barb is kind of sick here. Holds these items. I mean, he could probably... We could go like this. I don't need to shackle myself to this pain. Oh yeah, and Cleric can hold stasis for me. That's fine, too. Oh, and Weaver could hold stasis, even. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This then can't gain mana. Don't fall for that one. Uh, Barb, though. He has... Oh, he doesn't even need this, come to think of it. He can hold this. I was thinking he was going to kill himself, but he has... Uh... Ornate Hill, of course. This was a pick that I wasn't actively thinking about. I wasn't thinking Ornate Hilt Barbarian when I clicked on it. Uh, mostly I was thinking the other option wasn't very good, I think. What was it? Does anyone remember? I'm actually curious. I'll know it if I see it, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go look now. What did I see there? It was Ornate Hilt or... Wine. It was wine. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, I think it just ends up being the right choice. 
Okay. Oh, did I set my video to upload for today? I did. Okay. Just occurred to me. It's past 8.30. Wasn't sure if I had... Because it's hard to remember because I just, like, I don't know, three hours ago, eh, probably more like an hour and a half or two hours ago, sat down and started playing Slice and Dice. I was like, oh, I should record a run. Still, still going. Nice. Good little play. I'm going to hold the cleave lens in case I get poisoned. Yeah. Just like that. Six, you can go for eight. I think six is fine. Go for some mana here. Maybe a charged. Weaver is a little worse because I can't bank for charge super well, but I still think he was the correct pickup. You? Okay. I wasn't sure if I actually finished rolling there. Oh, and then we cleave clans, of course. Good with me. Three, two. Two, eight, and looks good to me. Looks like a little lethal for the boy. Charged Hammer is pretty bad here for the same reasons. Chaos Wand is like, it's questionable, I think. Sometimes it's super good. I don't have anything that buffs it, though. Engage self heal weak and vulnerable. Okay, I was just checking if there was something there with soup. Oh, uh. Huh. No, that's silly. <laughs> I was just thinking, you could do this. You could do, uh, you could do this to Barb. I think not. Okay. Uh, actually, what you could do here, though, is you could do uh, Pendulum plus Chaos Wand on someone. Does anyone like that? It's hard to know, because I don't know who my Gray is. But I think I'll random it. Time Stone? Sure. At worst, it's just cantrip dodge on Weaver or Assassin, so I don't mind. This fight looks free, doesn't it? I think golems are really unthreatening. Like, compared to the enemies you see on this fight, golems seem like they're not that big of an issue to me. Just kill this banshee off. I don't know, they die to so much random shit, too. Whatever. Uh, sure. Uh, I should put the two here, I guess. Eh, it doesn't matter. Technically what I should do there is I should roll Assassin for Poison, but that doesn't matter too much, and I want to just kind of kill the Shade here, pretty much. Like so. That Golem's dead. Golem's dead. That Golem's dead. Alright, who's it gonna be? Hexia? I think this is our best fight. Keeper Valk. So the biggest issue you face here is that uh, Barbarian swinging into Hexia still takes damage because he's going to take 8 plus 8 and he's only going to put up 8 shield. So Valkyrie comes back around to being pretty good here. Uh, Keeper's also kind of nice because you get the self heal which then re-neutralizes it. But I think Death Defy is the way here. It's good with me. Anyway. Now... Let's see this. Let's see this. I need to be sure that I'm smart about this because I can lose to Hexia here if I get cocky. We don't want to get uh, overexcited. This guy should hold Time Stone. Weaver is the one who's most likely to be killed. Um, I'm done with this. Making our Valkyrie tanky is probably the way to go, because all that really matters is if Valkyrie doesn't die in this fight, I can't lose it, because Hexia can't kill me. And stasis means they also are immune to the pain that Hexia will inflict. And then we can do... I'm okay with this. It's not a big issue. Uh, I could also do... Eh, Trouble's fine. Assassin can hit a 12 to finish this fight off. Okay, I think this should be fine. 
Petrify off the rip on Barb. Interesting. Probably here I just kill Hexia. With this roll, pretty sure you just kill her. Yeah, I don't think you're saving him, by the way. Plus 14, yeah. 16. 12. Uh, yeah, okay. For sure. So I like these two, or these three. I roll for revive, and that's it. Or Kills him in. Pretty fine. I can revive later. First. Uh, kill him. Sometimes, when you think you're going to play Hexia very slow and safe, you don't. <laughs> nice. Now, I played one more run, and I said this was going to be the last one for an important reason. This puts me, I believe, at number 10. Cool. I thought that would be nice, because I was having a little bit of a... First, let me talk. Let me do the debrief on the run. Um, starting with four curses, four tier ones is basically a non-curse. Like... Of note, I had exact lethal on Hexia. This horde never was a problem. Plus four max HP would have made that fight a little bit more troubling. Same thing for uh, Troll King, actually. So I was correct to click this, even though it seems like it won't make a difference. The only thing this can be bad for is hand doing sword summons. Uh, this curse was nothing. Even, like, this is the worst case for two less max mana, right? Weaver, he's like the worst character with these curses three pit pain and two less max mana and they're so unimpactful that it just didn't matter anyway like he still did his job he put up his three mana and in one of the fights he even put up enough charge to kill troll king so but at the end of the day sometimes you take treble and then 19 floors later assassin deals 12 instead of eight and you one shot hexia so that's the real lesson and this is kind of how i like to draft in the early game you pick things like trouble because very infrequently it will just win you the game in a position where it wouldn't and i'm not saying it like swings the run or anything i didn't win because i took this but it made it easier and you never know what turn two and beyond looks like with that opener so also holy shit, dude stasis anyway I just wanted to go here. Uh, I want to, let me go to the, I want to see it. Let me see it. Online, classic, hard. There it is. Cool. Oh, Luke's at number 20. Holy shit. I know that guy. Go him. Feels good. I was having a bit of like an imposter syndrome because I wasn't putting up a good streak initially. So I'm glad to make top 10. Uh, <laughs> maybe if I win another, like, I don't know, 20, I'll feel like I am actually pretty good at this game. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.